So earlier today we had some maintenance and then we had a patch, but it was really weird that we ended up not getting any patch notes. On Discord there was an announcement saying they would be delayed. Well, we finally got those patch notes and we can see what actually changed and there are a few things to note. I'm still not sure why it warranted a second patch on this week. Couldn't they have waited till next week? But that aside, let's dive into it. There was just a quest fix here with personal summons. This allows you to now complete the mission Whispers in the Underdark to access the Whispering Post. You'll be able to do this regardless of your item level. This is something I reported where you were not able to actually unlock the Demon Web Pits, the new campaign, despite it saying start this campaign regardless of item level, because you were not able to start Menza Branzen. To start Menza Branzen, you need to obtain the quest whispers in the dark to unlock the whispering post to speak to Jarl Axel to actually do the personal summons quest anyway that's good that's cleared up new players can now actually unlock Narbondolin you don't have to have the requirement for Mensa Branson, which is 55,000 item level. Good stuff. I want to see more people farming those heroics and bringing out the price of these pants because 400k Damn, that's a lot. But there's some more good news. Vistani and Illustre's Grace bonus has been reworked. This should now allow players who use multi-target atwells to consistently reapply both bonuses to a single target, but no stacking as per the previous fix. So both powers should now work as described. We can go and confirm this. We have the Vistani set here. We have the Illustrious Grace as well. And we can go and hit our target with an AoE power. We only hit one of them and we activate both Grace and Vistani. We can keep using this power multiple times and you can see we can reapply the bonus. It will never like expire and not let you to reapply it until after five seconds. So on the Paladin, you can now spam Divine Fulmination and continually trigger both bonuses. And you'll be able to do that on multiple other characters, which also means on my tank build, I can now actually use said Vistani set with my Oath Strike. I don't have to worry about not attacking for a period of time in order to have it at 100% uptime. I can continually attack and apply both bonuses. Very good. And thank you, Cryptic, for that. Just keep in mind that does mean Illustrious Grace Ring is fixed from being able to trigger on multiple targets in one power like it used to. You are able to just hit lots of enemies, like even a whole ad group. And as long as you hit each one of them with an AoE power, you're able to trigger on every single one of them. That has been changed. Like I'm not triggering on either of them until I hit with the AoE power only on one of them. So that does mean Illustrious Grace and Vistani are both, yes, working as intended and are only good in single target boss fights. Now, while Brett Norton, the executive producer for Everwinter was announcing this to us. I asked uh, if cleric healers could have a fix to their Atwell Scattering Light to give it the option to activate Grace and Vistani. And Brett Norton said they will look into it, they will open that issue and most likely get it adjusted so it's tagged as an actual multi target or AoE power and thus it should be able to actually trigger Vistani and Grace. So clerics will actually be able to use that as an option to increase the party's damage. This is where he announced that change on Discord. And as a side note, they also want to fix Barbarian's Relentless Slash that it will also proc Illustre's Grace and thus Vistani as well, as it's not currently considered a multi-target power for them. So we move on and there was a fix to Uni Unicorn's charge where if you used an encounter power or daily power after activating that attack, then it was ended up just getting cancelled. So they wanted to fix that because people were just running into issues where it was just not casting because you were using an encounter power daily power too quick after it. And otherwise, good news with regards to the advanced Demon Web Pit dungeon, the legendary and epic rings should now drop. Again, that's in advanced mode. If you want to see what exact bonuses those rings are going to have, you can find them in collections just below the master version of the rings. These ones right here. 
most of them, I'm pretty sure all of them, are just rating bonuses. So they're good for people gearing up. You will be able to sell these rings as well, but the bonuses on them are rather underwhelming. I think this is the only ring here, tit for tat, where you at will and counter powers do 6% more damage, but your daily power does 25% less damage. This one potentially could be useful. I don't know why it has deflection and deflect severity on it, but yeah, that would be a 6% damage boost for classes which don't really use daily powers. The problem is that 6% is only going to affect at wills and encounter powers, not like your mount power, which is going to do a ton of damage if you're using a single target one and other features and abilities, things outside of your, yeah at wills and encounters. But yeah, it's stepping stone gear. Again, be able to sell them and newer players can pick them up just to get the item level and uh, an all right bonus. If you aren't fully geared up, you won't have all those ratings, so they'll be useful. And to confirm if the rings actually do drop now, you can just check the auction house. They're all there for you. People trying to sell them for obscene amounts, the price will undoubtedly drop significantly over time. Trying to build your collection? Yeah, I recommend waiting or just going and farming the advanced version for yourself. It drops this Goristro hide, which is pretty valuable. It's like how the whiskers were for Vault of Stars. This, along with the Fallen God's Ore from Master, are the things that sell the most from there. So farming that first mini boss or even just going and completing the dungeon can be profitable when this drops for you. Especially if you're only around this 55,000 item level mark, you can jump in there, you can farm it. You don't have to be jumping into the master mode in order to make some astral diamonds. So I'd highly recommend it. Maybe you can even get your hands on some legendary rings and go ahead and sell them. But that is it for the patch notes and everything it entailed. Yeah, not, not exactly a whole lot, but Maybe they wanted to push out this fix for unlocking the Narbondolin, the Demon Web Pits campaign for newer players ASAP, because why not? It's a bit ironic that they fix the Times 2 legacy campaigns for the Path of the Fallen after the event is over. This ideally would have been on Tuesday. People could still have made use of it then, two days, but alas, that will be for future events then. We still have no extra things added to the calendars. We don't know when like the trade bar store is coming. I know many people are waiting on that, myself included, sitting on a whole bunch of trade bars to spend on like scrolls, stones, and upgrade tokens. The few things that we do see on the calendar that we can look forward to are like Hell Pit here on the end of August. It'll allow us to get another token of achievement, which will allow you to get those following rewards. You just gotta save them up, but it has the challenge tokens and participation tokens. You can check the appointment vendor just beside the tree in Protector's Enclave, everything you can obtain there. But we also have double professions inside. So maybe you wanna right now at this time with double guild marks and a discount event, buy some masterwork scrolls, like I mentioned in my previous video. And you can save those for double professions and go and get twice as much resources and sell them for some astral diamonds. Same with the Narbondolin and Mensa Branson maps. It's just, you gotta have masterwork unlocked for that. And then dungeon delvers at the same time there. So make sure you have some keys. I would recommend every day if you are going to farm a lot of dungeons buy those skeleton keys you can only get five per day and there will come a point where you have no keys and you'll be regretting not having bought them but with that said that's everything for the patch thanks for watching and a special thank you to all these channel members for their added support we'll see you guys around goodbye for now